Here's a wood with lots of trees. One, two, three. What can you see? Yes, it's a house, a house in the trees. Four, five, six. A house of bricks. Seven, eight. We mustn't be late. Shall we knock? But wait. The door is opening. What can you see? Nine. Ten. I can see a pen. I wonder what the pen is drawing today. Yes, it's Lizzie. It's Lizzie Witch. And Lizzie has Bobby with her today. I wonder what they're going to do. Ah, oh, Lizzie says today's programme is all about colours. Things that are multicoloured. That means they have lots and lots of colours. Lizzie says she's going to make a magic spell and make something multicoloured so that we we'll understand what that means. Well, Lizzie has made something multicoloured. Can you see what it is? Yes, it's Bobby's hair. She's got all different colours in there. Do you like your new hairstyle, Bobby? You do? Bobby says it matches the rest of her because look. Yes, Bobby is multicoloured. Let's see what today's number is. Can you see? Yes, it's number five. And here are five mats. It doesn't matter how we arrange five objects. Whichever pattern we put them in, we still have five. You have a go. Find five objects and see how many patterns you can make from them. Here's something else you can try. What numbers make five? Here's one, two mats, add three mats, make five. See how many more sums you can make. Here's the pen. What do you think this letter is? Yes, it's the letter M. And we have a multicoloured M. And the letter M makes the sound M. Mm. M mm for mat. Maybe your name begins with the sound M. Mm. Is your name Maya? It is. Well, Maya begins with the letter M and the sound M. Mm. Is your name Mark? Because Mark begins with the sound M mm and the letter M. Or maybe it's Molly. Molly begins with the letter M and the sound M. Mm. M mm for Molly. Now let's look at Bobby's hair again. Do you remember that word when there's lots of colours? Yes, it's multicoloured. And we're going to show you how to do a really fun painting with lots of colours. You can use any kind of paint, but if the paint is a bit thick, you need to add a little bit of water because it needs to be just a little bit runny. Not watery, but just so that you can pour a little bit onto some paper. Then we've just drawn a very simple face. 
and you just put drops of one color first of all around the outline of the face and then here's the fun bit because you get a drinking straw and you blow outward to make hair just like Bobby's then you get the second color and you put drops of that in between the first color and blow again and you carry on doing this with as many colors as you like try blowing in different directions not just out because then you get much more interesting hair and you can give her a fringe as well so have fun with your painting today perhaps you can try something different too maybe you could make a hedgehog or a porcupine or a peacock with this multicolor effect using a straw if there's a group of you you could do a person and a body as well and then one person could do the hair and somebody else could do the body and somebody else could do the legs and arms so you can have lots of fun with multicolors and straw painting you can also have lots of fun playing i spy with your letters and letter sounds i spy with my little eye something beginning with the letter m and the sound m mm. can you guess what it is yes it's a mug so it's goodbye from lizzie witch and from bobby and from everybody here at jumble house until next time enjoy your multicolor straw painting and your eye spy and see how many patterns you can make using five objects